21 points scored as Margallis snatches away a few and the final time in that heat did not meet the minimum time standard and now our final individual event on the men's side is the men's 400 freestyle where energy standard and getting Danis Rapsis on to their team. That's a big pickup for them. Oh, huge. I mean, right now might be the best 200, 400 freestyler in the world. That That is, uh, I, I think without a doubt, the biggest free agency signing of any team. So Rapsis will be in the middle with Max Lipfield. Raps is multiple-time Lithuanian record holder. This is a guy that is a Lithuanian record holder in backstroke, freestyle, and butterfly, which is almost an ideal scenario if you're looking for an ISL summary. You like to have a yeah. guy like Rapsis or Caleb Dressel that can score a bunch versatility. of points. Versatility. Yeah, yeah, versatility. Yeah, you're, you're so right. And you need that, especially in this type of format. You, you, again, it, it's a chess match. you you, you got to throw these guys, these women, into so many different situations not a lot of high rankings here so this is why this event is really wide on open here's townley haas for example one of the great 500 and 200 freestylers in american history no question about it litchfield and rapsis and then and then the, probably the best pure 400 freestyler is albach way up there in lane number seven making his isl debut Yeah, Felix Albach could be a real game changer for the New York Breakers again Just really depends on what type of form these guys are in Felix Albach has Olympic history 13th at the World Championships long course in this event uh, I, I, I Again, I, I think this race is all about Rapsis. He's the third fastest performer in history He did that last year in December, this is his debut, ISL debut, right here. What a huge victory this would be for him. And Energy Standard, not sure they can actually catch Cali, at least today, but we got a big day yet ahead. This is only one of two days of competition, so there's still a lot of swimming left. The current right there in third, just behind Standard. Yeah, Jakob Heitman and Fernando Scheffer Currently swimming second and third here, but Rapsis, he's thinking about snatching away some jackpot times from this entire field right now, the lead that he's built early on. Boy, he has built that huge lead. And, and think about the debuts of five different swimmers in this race. The ISL debut for five swimmers, Sheffer, Heitman, and of course Rapsis, Bakla, and Albach. And we'd like to welcome into the broadcast Dave Durden, uh, the men's U.S. Olympic head coach. And Dave, great to have you with us. What is it like for you getting to see some of your swimmers competing in ISL 2020? Well, if you can't tell from the face mask, I am smiling. And hopefully you can hear me very well through this. Uh, but it's, it's great to be racing again. It's great to be at a meet. It's great to be at a professional meet. And it's great to be at an, in an environment that's taking care of some of the best swimmers in the world. David, what are you thinking about the most? What are you looking for the most during your stay here? Uh, I'm trying to figure this out like everyone else. Right. So just looking at the protocols, how we eat, how we move, how we're being very responsible in this pandemic, both socially and then trying to create a team dynamic. So. This is very important for me to be out here and seeing this because as you know, Rowdy, going out to Tokyo and having that USA swimming team dynamic competing together as a group is something that we need to do in order to get on the podium out in Tokyo. And we're seeing a little bit of that dynamic here in terms of the different teams, how they're interacting, how they're coming together as a group. How special is it, uh, David, to have you know, we talked to Maxine Rooney earlier, and he said that this is probably a once-in-a-lifetime type thing to have the best swimmers in the world all in one place for five weeks getting to compete and train with one another. Uh, and if you think about the last five months for these guys, this is sort of swimming utopia for them. They get to come in, train with some of the best in the world, race with some of the best in the world, and they're going to get better over these six weeks. So it's been just a great thing for our sport. Hey, thanks so much for joining us.
on thank our you. broadcast. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, great thank great you job. Yeah, thank Dave you. Durden, head coach of the U.S. men's Olympic team, wraps us in the lead for Energy Standard. So much talent in this pool, getting to race for the first time in months. Rapsis looks in form, folks. 339.36. New York Breakers will go second and third. Brandon Smith and Felix Albach. Well, he's definitely going to pick up a jackpot at least in eight. A good start there for Rapsis in his debut here with the ISL. 339, his best lifetime is 333. But again, you kind of throw the clock out the window here. It's all about the points you score for your team, and he's going to score some jackpot there. Rapsis earning 12 points for Energy Standard. On to the maybe the most important race coming up next the 400 medley relay.